Hello there you guys. So in this video I'm going to try to show you how to add DLSS natively to your game. So unlike other mods, you once you add DLSS, um, there's nothing else you can do in game. But this mod allows you to see as you guys can see it here, you can add DLSS to uh, your game menu. So you can choose some options in here. Uh, I do say, I will say that um, I didn't notice any difference once I toggle this, quality balanced and nothing really changed but what you can do is just change the render resolution so if you want quality mode that's usually 67 percent and uh, performance I think is 50 or something like that so there you have it so everything else you can toggle in the menu so let's get to the video so let me get to to the downloads first you're gonna need um, well first you're gonna need to delete from your game files if you have any other type of upscaling mod so delete those files from your from your gaming uh, from your, from your game file. So first, you're gonna need to download the Starfield script extender. You just come here to files, download it. Let me just do it quickly for you. I already have it, but let's try that again. It's gonna show up here, I think. Oh, not here. All right. So you're gonna have this file here. Uh, all right. This is all it is. So you open this file. You drag and drop all these files into your game files. So where do you find your game files? You go on Steam. Okay. Also, if you have Game Pass, this does not work on Game Pass, I don't think. So it's only for Steam users. You go to Browse Local Files. Boom, there it is. You just drag and drop them all here. And then we go to the next step. The next step is to actually add the mod. The mod itself is this one. All the links will be in the description of the video. So it's called the Streamline Native. You go to Menu Download, and then you download them here. So um, also, just click these two links. Um, click here and click here. I already have them open here. So, but you click them too because you're gonna have to download them too. All right. So click these two links, and just leave them open. And then you download this one, right? Uh, you download. Just hit download and it's going to show up here i have it in my downloads it's this one right here i think it's going to look like wait i don't think it's this one um okay sorry it's not this one it should be this one then okay it's going to show up like this right so you're going to drag and drop this into your game folders again so here's my game folder I'm not going to do it again because it's already there. Um, so here it is. You just drag and drop it here. Okay. Once that's done, you're going to come to these two other pages we saw here. So we're going to have to add a D DLSS DLL and the DLSS 3 frame generation. If you have like a, a 4000 and NVIDIA graphics card, because that's going to give you frame generation too. So I added both because I do have one. Uh, just click here download click here download the other one. So next thing you're gonna do You're gonna go to your game file uh, click on data uh, Then you go here SFSE Plugins and V streamline you're gonna click here and then you're gonna drag the last two files you downloaded from here see these two files and Then they're gonna look like this these two and then you add them here. And then you launch the game. That should be, oh, actually, you don't launch the game through the same place. That should be all, but you can come back to Starfield, and then you're gonna have to look for it, this, this application here. You're gonna have to launch the game through this application from now on, uh, SFSE Loader, if you want this to work every time. And you just, I, I like to create a, a desktop shortcut for that, so I have mine here. Let me show you guys. Oh, actually, how do I go to my desktop? Okay, it doesn't matter. And then you launch the game. How do you know if it's working? Um, first, you're gonna do, you're gonna press tilt. Let's see, where's the tilt command here on my keyboard? You're gonna press tilt to see if the command, uh, the console command is open, and then you're gonna type get sfse version type that in there hit enter 
enter and if you see like a version it, which means it's it means it's working and then the final test you just go into your game man oh shit what am, what am i doing okay just hit okay how do i get out of here oh my god e. just go into your menu and uh if everything is working you're gonna see these options here nvidia reflex and all these cool stuff so that is it. I hope that helps. And uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Bye.